That's the land of the dead. Everything in the past is gone, and everything in the future has not yet been born. Hmm? Be in the land of the living. You see, that's the fall, being cut off from the land of the living. Hmm? You have to return back to your innocent state, which is a mind that has been decluttered, a mind that has been cleaned, a mind that has been renewed, like they say. Hmm? Instead of study, studying all them astrology charts, how about you just go outside at nighttime? It's great if you live outside, but if you don't, just go outside at nighttime and look up at the stars that you're reading about in all them charts on Google. Hmm? How about you look at them and watch them do their dance in front of your eyes? Watch them display their play in front of their eyes. You see, that's the difference between being mindful and mindful, F-U-L. A mindful, F-U-L-L person will know all the astrology stuff. They read it, memorized it, they know it all. But see, when you are mindful, F-U-L, like the woman over there on the right-hand side, you don't need Google. You don't need the chart. It's from looking up at the stars and then looking at the people and seeing how they behave as it relates to the placement of the actual stars. That's the difference of being aware in the non-conscious sense and being truly aware in the present moment. That's right, Divine L, organic. We always talking about organic, but we, we for our references, check Google, check uh, verse 29, check all of this other shit. But nobody ever says, go check the stars and see where they're at right now. Half of the people who are astrology uh, majors and, and of the like, I'm using astrology because that seems to be the hot topic uh, this month. But there's other examples, but. Um, as far as astrology go, you know, we, we, we pride ourselves on having, uh, hood PhDs and, and doctrines on our Google astrology and shit. But, um, and even if it ain't Google, even if you're looking at old ancient texts, the Greeks or whoever, the facts is, is the way the ancients did it. They didn't have no book. You understand? They didn't have Google. They did it organically because they was mindful. That's how they were smarter than we are now. Yes, they were. I know they told you that we are evolving, but that's not the case, boo. We are devolving. All it takes is a little critical thinking and some retrospection on your part to see that what I am saying is the truth. The ancients were mindful like the young lady in this picture. You see, they didn't have Google to tell them uh, that if you... Uh, was born here and if you was born when the Venus was here and, and the moon was here then that's how you're going to behave no they didn't have that what they had though was an awareness an awareness that allowed them to look up into the sky at night and see the placement of the stars and then to see how people would behave and began to notice the patterns yes the patterns the patterns are what makes you aware do you see the patterns in your life do you see the patterns as it relates to your thoughts and your feelings and how they manifest in your life are you aware of that that's the living god not dead pieces of information and facts and histories and shit like that that don't make you conscious no, it actually makes you more unconscious. The mandate is to be still. And now when, when they say be still, it's not necessarily talking about your body. It don't necessarily mean you got to sit in a corner and don't move. It's talking about your mind. It's all talking about your mind. All is mental. Your mind needs to be still. But you got to figure it out. Huh? That's what, that's, that's, that's what that little voice in the back of your head is. Hurry up, figure it out. You're running out of time. Hmm? That's a lie. You got nothing but time. Literally. You have all of the time in the world and out of the world. Literally. 
That's a lie. You know, there's an old saying in the Christian church that if the devil can't get in front of you and stop you, he'll get behind you and push you. <laughs> and oh, so true. And I see my young sisters and brothers in, uh, up and coming in consciousness, getting ensnared, getting trapped. Hmm? And the people who are supposed to be helping you, who are supposed to be liberating you, who are supposed to be relieving you of these burdens. You see, the boy on the 